Mm -hmm. Hey, welcome everybody out tonight. Our essential oil class tonight is peppermint. Peppermint. Peppermint, the uh, most popular oil in of the Terra. Yep. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and thank you for joining us on our podcast as well. Um, so are we sharing the screen already, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. So we're at um, jbalden.com forward slash peppermint. So this is a very common oil um, that most people know about. And I'll, I might be repeating the same things that you guys already know. Um, so anyways, how do I... Okay. I move up. I look like that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so peppermint oil. I have a picture here on the screen. Um, you know, this is just is a common oil that we use to teach people about essential oils. We tell people that there are lots of um, ingredients or chemicals in peppermint oil that's naturally occurring in peppermint oil um, that we are looking for. Um, for therapeutic benefits and these chemicals are found in these oil sacs. You can see that arrow going there um, The oil sacs um, on the peppermint leaf and you see those spikes Surrounding the essential oils. It's there to protect the essential oils Okay um, But you can see that you know, it's the oils um, that are really the therapeutic part of the plant and if we can just get the essential oils from those leaves um, distilled and um, uh, extracted carefully from the plant uh, we just have the concentrated plant um, medicine okay so we don't need the leafy part because the essential oils are um, extracted carefully the oils are alive, it's rejuvenating and oxygenating. That means it's cell selective. So it goes into the cells and it does the things that it needs to do, um, you know, according to what you need. So that's really amazing <laughs> because we, we take certain drugs and, you know, we know that this drug does this and it's, you know, it's targeted for a certain result. Um, but with the oils, it can go all over and do so many different things. So in this picture, Ben, he made this, um, and you know, he, there's an arrow that goes to promoting digestive health. So it does that if you need digestive health. And it helps with respiratory um, concerns, helps with respiratory functions, if you need help with clear breathing. And then also, <laughs> if you use it uh, around the house, it's a natural bug repellent. So it's really fun to see how many things peppermint can do. Um, I think one time I had a lady, I was just really, really confused and perplexed. And I asked her, what's, what's wrong? She says, how can one thing do so many, you know, jobs? I mean, because she's so used to this one medication doing this one thing. And now I'm telling her it does this and then it does this, you know, and if you, have this problem um, you know it balances and if you're on the other end it kind of balances you back this way and she's like wow so just just can't wrap her head around it and I said because there's a ton of active ingredients hundreds of active ingredients in there so with a drug perhaps you have a couple of active ingredients but with essential oils because it's in its complete molecular structure as found in nature it's stable inside of us and it does the job that it needs to do um, without hurting us. And if we um, need to, if we use too much and we need to eliminate it, it will be as, you know, metabolized and eliminated um, really quickly without um, being absorbed or um, without it, uh, you know, what do people, people call it, compounding and, um, you know, stay, staying stuck inside our system and our cells. So that's awesome. Anyway, so that's what that picture is all about. Okay, so as usual, we will go through this and explain how to use oils, um, starting from the, with the body, and then we go to the mind and the spirit. So um, does anyone have anything to say? Do you have any experiences with peppermint oil? You want What's to share? What's your favorite use of mm -hmm. peppermint oil? Yeah. 
We've also put it in water um, and drank it that way, but um, we I've just smelled it and used it in the diffuser and I really like it that way. Yep, it's so nice. Oh, and under your tongue. Yeah, I have the beadlet. I've put it underneath my tongue several times um, for different reasons, but I like the beadlet like that because it's easy to do, you don't, you know, and it's just the right amount and then it helps right away. So. Yeah. Yep, the beadlet is fun to share, right? You watch people's faces and then it, as soon as they bite into it, it lits up and they get a bit of a shock because I don't expect it to be that powerful. <laughs> Anybody else want to share? I think peppermint's a good wake up oil, um, get you alert. Uh -huh. Keep you, like when you're driving or, at <laughs> or What can you tell people even, what not to do? <laughs> even when, um, like, you know, you go to exercise, it's an oil to help you. And it actually helps increase your endurance. Yeah. This is the Don't put it near your eyes, though. <laughs> Don't put it on baby's feet and then let ta their siblings play with them on their feet and then they touch their eyes. That happened in my home once. <laughs> it was not good. I was like, what is wrong? What's happening? And then it dawned on me. The older sibling was playing with his little brother's feet. <laughs> and then he touched, he got the feet and was like doing this. Oh gosh. I felt so bad when I realized that. But there's a solution. I got coconut oil and put it all over his face and his hands, and we were okay with it like a minute. But oh, funny. <laughs> you would think, though, you think it's on your feet. You know, you don't use your feet. They're not going to mess with it, but yeah. <laughs> well, next time we know to put socks on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, ben was driving home one day and he decided to wake himself up. Such a good job. <laughs> yeah, well, it went into my eyes to have a blower. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not too close to you, your eyes. Even if it's uh, close, the fumes will get to it. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's very powerful. Um, so today I saw a video of Emily Wright in Oregon um, at the peppermint factory farm. And that was awesome. And the guy said that it's like four or five generations um, in their family of uh, people growing peppermint. So I love it how it's uh, supportive of family and, um, you know, that's a, it's an art form that they've mastered. And, um, you know, they, you, know you, you can't buy that kind of experience. It's just amazing. Yeah. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful to, that we are supporting that family every time we buy peppermint. Okay, so let's go down this list here. Peppermint supports breathing. So that's one of the very first things that we see. Um, so one drop of peppermint in your palms, you can cup it over your nose and mouth and inhale, and that will help open up your airways. Sometimes I tell people to close their eyes and then you know, just breathe slowly because they just whiff and breathe deeply and then they start coughing and their eyes start watering. It's just one drop, but it's powerful. So I say one drop and I kind of demonstrate and just cut my hands over my nose and mouth and say, close your eyes, breathe slowly. Okay, how do you feel? And they're like, oh, wow, that's peppermint. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, like Ben said, use it uh, when you work out to give you more endurance. Um, and just more oxygen and energy, I think. Yep. Um, okay, fresh breath. One drop of peppermint into your mouth. Um, that helps with that. Or use the beadlet. So doTERRA has a nice pop top uh, with their beadlet. And so that was, that's cool. I really like it. I don't know how they do that. The little beadlets. And it doesn't burst until it goes into your mouth. Mm, interesting but it's fun to share and it's um, it's an easy way and it's not messy to share the peppermint with people um, and that way when you're taking uh, the oils in your mouth you're not uh, you don't need um, breath mints uh, that may contain sugar and other things okay 
Um, so it's helpful for digestion. Okay. Um, so it's in our digest zen blend, but uh, you know, peppermint alone is great. You can rub that on your tummy. If you're sensitive, then use fractionated coconut oil and dilute that before you mix it with the peppermint oil. Um, and peppermint is a fairly hot oil um, for people. So if you've got little kids, you want to dilute them, dilute it, and just before you rub it on them, anyways. Um, yeah. And it's it's a very thin oil, as in it's got a smaller molecular size, so it it drives everything in deeply. So with our Roma Touch massage, we use peppermint last to drive the whole thing in, all of the oils that we used previously in, and that's a really good oil to to use. And it's used in a lot of blends. Mm -hmm. Maybe for that same reason. Yep, yep. And um, yeah, it carries the other oils along with it um, deeper into you. Okay. If you guys have anything to say, you're welcome to jump in, okay? Um, so, pests, um, pests, <laughs> peppermint naturally repels bugs. And I was surprised that it wasn't um, one of the ingredients in our um, terrorist shield. Terror shield, terror shield, you know. Um, it, the terror shield smells lovely and sweet, and it doesn't have that peppermint. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and different bugs will react to different things. Yeah. So if one thing doesn't work, here's another thing you can try. Uh huh. Yep. And we have discovered that they have a lot of ants in Florida. <laughs> Stacey's laughing at me. Um, and so we've made this little spritzer thing with uh, peppermint. Little brown ants everywhere. And Ben thinks that um, I've got an ant phobia, but it's it's okay. <laughs> we have peppermint. <laughs> um, so that's what we use it for. Have you guys used peppermint for bug repellent? I've heard of people Actually, in the garden. Yes. I was just going to say, I usually mix clove and peppermint together for pests. Um, actually, recently, Ashley's used it for like clove and not clove and peppermint. It's lavender. Lavender and peppermint. But anyway, clove is interesting with the peppermint. It helps. Um, it disorients the ants, and they can't get back to the queen. And if they can't get back to the queen, then the queen won't survive and neither will the ants. Uh -huh. so putting those together are really good, just with water. Excellent. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, now you should do that. <laughs> so the next thing here on our list is muscle support. Sorry, mouthwash? Oh, sorry, I skipped several. Mouthwash. <laughs> yep. So you can put a drop of peppermint in the water and swish and rinse. Okay, so that's really, really easy. And you already know that peppermint has um, natural ability to re to be um, uh, just kill germs and things. So that's good. Um, so I, I think I like that much better than all that. We haven't used any of the, um, you know, multicolor mouthwashes that you can buy in the store for a long time yeah okay so toothpaste if you are making your own you can add peppermint oil to that and we do have a lovely on guard toothpaste that uh, is a natural whitener so we we like that um but that's another option for you okay and food yay we use peppermint in food too um so of course it's it's like Mostly brownies, um, but I don't know. Do you guys use uh, peppermint in any other recipes? Oh, and chocolate, too. yeah, and hot chocolate. Everything's surrounding chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like peppermint bark um, with cocoa. It's all with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they use peppermint for other things, other cooking. No. No. 
It's the easiest way to make a pepper, peppermint tea or put it in your hot cocoa or anything like that. Peppermint and ginger together in a tea too. Yeah, so yes, easy, easy peasy. Easy, I like that. Yes, I've done that too, peppermint tea. It's a drop with warm water. Yep, all right. So now you guys can um, comment below and tell us if you've used uh, peppermint oil in other recipes besides um, what we mentioned today. Okay, so it's amazing. Peppermint's amazing for mussels. Um, so it's in your deep blue, um, a soothing blend in, in your aroma touch um, blend and in your past tense blend. So all three of those oils are for mussels and um, Ex eggs and pains. Uh, so um, you can actually make your own blend too, because um, some people then made their own um, with wintergreen, white fur, and peppermint or peppermint and you know other oils. But yeah, those are the blends that's already blended for you, and they're really really good. Okay, so that's uh, a good um, thing to know. Uh, if you're massaging, just use a fractionated coconut oil so the oils can stay on the, the skin longer and you can massage. Because um, sometimes, uh, because our oils are so pure, they just go straight into the, the skin and dries up. So that's that. Okay, so peppermint with wild orange. Equal portions of both will help with alertness. Okay, in the Aroma Touch um, massage, it's for um, homeostasis, for balancing. Um, and that's another thing that we do with the wild orange and peppermint. Uh, there are some oils like lemon, rosemary, bergamot, and cypress. And you can use that with peppermint for focus and alertness, um, especially if you're trying to study something and um, you know, to help kids do their homework. <laughs> So put that in the diffuser and shake it up, mix it around. Um, so you can mix uh, lemon, you can mix bergamot, you can add cypress, rosemary, those are good brain oils. Okay, and alert uplifting oils. You guys, have you used those blends before? Mm -hmm. Yep, some nodding there. Okie dokie. Um, overheated. So it can mean um, women with hot flashes, it can mean um, a just a hot day, it can mean feverish, okay? So peppermint, frankincense and lavender, there's a really good, that's my, uh, the recipe that I use every single time. Um, and you can just rub it on the bottom of the feet or put it in a spritzer bottle, that blend, and spray it on your, spray face, it on so. your face and your whole body. Yep. Close your eyes. <laughs> Okie dokie. We haven't used this blend for a long time because um, our kids have been really well. Our family's been really well, but um, for my friends and for relatives, that's the blend I tell them to use whenever they text me with a problem. Okay, the next thing is motion sickness. Um, and, uh, you know, we add ginger with our peppermint. Um, if you just smell it together, that should do the job actually. I have some friends that are very healthy and you know, for morning sickness, um, one of my friends just opens the bottle and just snap, smells it, smell it directly out of the bottle and it takes care of her morning sickness and that's amazing. She said that she can't live without it. Um, but for other people, you might want to um, just cup it over your nose and mouth and inhale it Put it on the bones behind your ears before you fly, before you go on a cruise or a long car ride, um, and then just reapply or just re-smell it <laughs> um, if for four hours or so. All right, so that's good. Anyone want to say anything? To add anything to that? I haven't tried those last two, but um, I didn't realize that overheated could just be like on a hot day. So I'm going to bring that with me. I work on a really hot TV set. It's so hot, I, I dread going. But um, 
but yeah, and I have to go Thursday. So I'm going to hurry up and mix that and bring it with me. And then motion sickness is weird because I don't have, it's never on a boat. I don't have any problems on a plane. Although I have once when the clouds are there and I can't see past, I will get it then. But in a car, sometimes I'll get car sickness. So I'm going to make those two. And, um, and I knew ginger. I just didn't really know pepper. Like I knew peppermint helped with your stomach, but I didn't know that that combination, I never thought of that for, and I know like you could put it on that bone. So I'm definitely going to try those two. So I'm glad you had those in there. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. You know, Stacy, my kids are just like me, just don't do well in the car. And um, when I had doTERRA, I think the first year and I read about ginger um, and rubbed it on their ears. We had eight, six hours straight of driving and nobody threw up. And it was like, oh, that's the very first time this happened. So I thought, yes, I'm converted. <laughs> it was yeah. amazing. So we carry that with us on the airplane and things. But most of the time we're fine. But if, you know, I see them and they, they, they look kind of unhappy. We do the little bit of a drop behind the ears and it does a job. It's just a teeny drop. Um, yeah, because they're, they're little kids, so it's very sensitive if you rub a lot on because it's a hot oil too. But yeah. Very yeah, good. Boat trip, yeah. Last oh, week. yeah, we did go on a boat trip last kids week. We did have one, one kid, um, but we because we did um, mm. use oils on her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I didn't think um, that two hour trip would do it, but you know, she did get a little bit sick. <laughs> Do you want to say anything, Debbie? I just agree with everything that you've that you've talked about. I think it's awesome. And overheated can be like the fever when you're sick too. Using the peppermint to help um, aid the body in lowering or not lowering necessarily, but managing that fever because it's there for a reason. But if it starts getting too high, then the peppermint's really good to help. Even that peppermint, frankincense, and lavender is awesome together to help manage that fever. So. Okay. Okay. Well, you just reminded me. <laughs> um, that my my mom um, in Australia, when it's hot in the summer, it's just muggy. And um, so where we live, in a city anyways, so my mom and a whole bunch of people, they were chanting um, and it was a hot day and they, a man who was like 90 something, he fainted. Okay, because it was a, it was a burial a chant, okay? <laughs> and, and he fainted and my mom, she came home and she said, and when he fainted, I whipped out that peppermint and I dumped it on him. And she said, five other people had the peppermint in their pocket and we were dumping it with the peppermint. And I'm like, wow, my goodness. And she said, by the time the ambulance came, he was already waking up. <laughs> and the ambulance people said, oh, what's that smell? It smells great. And all of them had peppermint with them. I'm like, okay, the whole Buddhist monastery smells like peppermint. <laughs> So she was just funny and she came home and she's like, I saved a guy's life. And I thought, it's hilarious. Um, but, you know, I, I know that she's been sharing oils with everybody. And, and the Vietnamese people in Australia, they love, love peppermint. So I know that every month she sells about eight oils to one of her friends or some of her friends. So it's, it's going around. <laughs> but it's funny how they're like, <laughs> she's like, everyone just started dumping him. And peppermint, and he had peppermint all over him, so he had oxygen. And it came to <laughs> very funny. So we have um, people in our church actually in Australia too. Um, the Samoans and the Tongans, they tell me that you know that the peppermint really helps them with um, just feeling hot in the summer. So they do the spritzer, and they said that it saves their life. So I mean, I I don't do it as often, but when my friends tell me that you know that they do it all the time, and that's their perfume. <laughs> It's really funny. Yeah. So I love that. All right. Um, mind. Okay. This is very exciting. Peppermint is the oil of a buoyant heart. Okay. So I did meet a guy um, a few years ago. And, um, you know, I, 
I introduced him to peppermint oil and his big eyes lit up and he had this huge big smile on his face and you you know that he he sold he sold he just fell in love with that peppermint right away and I showed him peppermint oil in the emotions book right the essential emotions and essential oils and I said oh something about um heavy heart and he just looked at me like I read his mind and he said Jade um my wife just left me and I am very hurt and and he, he's like wow this really helps me <laughs> um anyways it's a good ending he's actually engaged now it's two years later so very happy but it was just funny how we came across um, each other and uh, you know that was uh, the oil and after that he was sold and he just shared oils and started growing the business so it was fun to see somebody who has a, this heavy heart and then something like just as simple as peppermint can help him feel happier okay so the the negative emotions um, that peppermint helps you shift out are um, an unbearable pain, intense despair, heaviness, pessimistic, and muddled. And if you look at that, uh, you can see how the physical body um, healed too. You know, it helps with the tummy. So you, your tummy doesn't feel um, muddled, and, you know, because we have neurotransmitters in our gut. Um, you know, it's just amazing. Um, when you look at the emotion and how it affects the physical body. So the positive properties that we can adopt with peppermint, with using peppermint is buoyant, um, uh, optimistic, clear, relieved, renewed, strength to face emotional pain. Okay, so very few people dislike peppermint. So I can count on one hand the amount of people that I've met that do not like peppermint. Okay, and you know, if people do not like peppermint, you know that they're unwilling to adopt the positive um, aspects of this oil. Okay, um, like perhaps they, they don't know how to, or they can't accept that they can feel happy again and they can't uh, see themselves being optimistic and change. So um, one friend of mine, um, of course, she's been married for an awful long time and her husband suddenly ended their marriage and, you know, just, she's just so attached to him. Um, she, her whole identity was with her husband and now her life has changed and she's just unwilling to shift. Uh, so peppermint was a very sticky oil. She couldn't stand it. So any blend that has peppermint in it, she, she can hardly tolerate it. Isn't that funny? So anyways, um, you know, peppermint, it teaches you some good lessons. Um, you know, your heart is a strong organ. Some of us think that it's going to break and it's going to die, but it's not. It's pretty strong. Um, it's, it's meant to be broken and mended. Okay, so it can hurt. Uh, it can be broken but it can be strengthened and mended with love. Um, so we all need to go through these negative emotions. It's, it's actually important to, uh, to grow. Uh, so some of us are just so scared and we avoid going through that pain, uh, but uh, it's an important thing to go through. So the emotions of the heart are also emotions linked to the intestines. Um, you know, see how it helps with the digestive system, see? So anyways, uh, these emotions are abandonment, betrayal, forlorn, loss, love unreceived, effort unreceived, heartache, insecurity, overjoy, and vulnerability. So those are the emotions linked to the heart and the small intestines. Okay, so you know sometimes when people have heartaches and they're... Um, they feel um, a bit of insecurity or whatever, it affects their tummy. So sometimes they, they eat too much or they don't have an appetite at all. Okay, so it affects that, um, uh, that part of them. Okay. 
so you can see that uh, link now, right? Okay, so when we allow these negative emotions to weigh us down, we get used to that heaviness and we accept it as the norm, when in fact our true state is a happy state. Okay, fear and negativity does not have to control us, but because we, we fear that pain so much, <clears throat> You know, we think that it's around the corner, we expect it. So what happens is um, people don't allow themselves to move forward. Okay, so have you seen people in that state? You know, where they are so scared of being hurt again, they're not gonna do anything about it. They're not going to try again, or they're not gonna allow themselves um, a renewal of any sort, okay? Yes, I've been hurt. I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to trust anybody again, or whatever it is. Um, and they hold on to that pain. Okay, so everyone goes through trials. There's no need to dwell on that old pain any longer than necessary. On the other hand, um, we cannot suppress it and ignore it, that that pain or that painful event um, without dealing it with it properly. So some people say, "Oh, okay, 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 goodbye, goodbye," um, uh, but then you have people that dwell on it um, for a long time, okay? In any case, if it's not resolved properly, you have to eventually face it and resolve it properly, okay? Because that inner child will come out and you need to resolve it with that inner child, all right? But remember, this is our goal here on Earth in our existence is to grow and progress. So if we remember that, we, we know that on the other side, on the other, you know, side of this river of pain, um, there's, there's hope and joy. So I really like the analogy of a river of pain, okay, a river of discomfort. Because in my, in my mind, um, if I see a picture, then it's, it's more helpful. And I see people um, in pictures too. So if you think about a river, you know, um, there's shallow end and there's deep end, but then it's just so long, you know, and we just can't go around it. We can't go over it. We really have to go through it. Okay. And so most people, they, they feel pain and then they, they actually walk into the river a little bit and they stand there in the shallow end and, and wallow. You know, I've got pain. I've got all of these things. I've got all these sadness in my life. Just want to remind everybody and I want to tell everybody um, that I have this pain but they won't go deeper and they won't go through it. Uh, so what peppermint does is it allows them to, uh, you know, holds their hands and holds up their heart and takes them into deeper water. But, you know, peppermint won't let them sink all the way. You know, you smell that peppermint, you can't help it but feel uplifted, right? So you can talk about all the yuckies and you talk about all the yucky um, pains inside and then address that problem okay and then you know you find that you're you're on the other side already and you've passed through okay but there's some people that refuse that and they will go around in circles and they're just standing in one place they're just going around in circles and around circles and then they turn around and help oh, here's that river again and of course it's there it's still waiting for you you just extended that journey by not walking through it okay so i do have a friend and you know her story is very sad um but you know, every time I try to help her, she insists on celebrating, on um, you know, talking about that, that pain. And um, you know, again, peppermint comes up. Again, you know, deep blue comes up. You know, same things over and over. But people can't move on. So one event happens, and it maybe was what a short period of time. Um, maybe very painful, of course, but they keep on bringing that pain up and bringing that pain up and still stand in that pain. So if we think, look, I'm, I've got the strength that I need um, and all the power that I have with me from God, from angels, I can experience this sorrow and um, I can, you know, survive. Okay. So that's really, really important. I'm really grateful for this. Because you know we we get to be a better person. We get we get to the other side and we're more more grateful for being a stronger person. Um, you know when we experience and, and end up on the other side. 
I see that, uh, you know, that some people are afraid, so afraid to walk through that, that they don't progress. And it's just so sad to watch, um, you know, in biblical scriptures and stuff, they, they talk about being damned. So it's not allowing yourself to, to flow, just let, let it stop in that, that flow. Um, and it is sad because we can't progress. So anyone want to say anything, make a comment, um, you know, add their insights? I've been using peppermint a lot lately. Mm -hmm. I feel, I feel like, like it's a, part, part of that, that heaviness feeling, just that weight down. There's just, I don't know, I think it's that negativity, but when I have the peppermint, I, I mix it with the wild orange and I smell that and it lets me keep going. Yeah, yeah. It's like training wheels. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Marissa. So peppermint is in that motivate blend. That's an awesome blend. And um, the this is a really good blend here. Relief of impatient or intolerant attitude. Um, that's linked to the heart too. Okay, so three drops of bergamot, two drops of lavender, and one drop of peppermint. Um, that helps us um, have more open heart and an understanding heart. That's interesting. All right, anyone want to say anything else about peppermint and um, the mind? So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna suggest I'm gonna suggest someone that I know use that as to help him through things that he hasn't dealt with mm -hmm. over and over. It keeps coming up. So and he may very much like the smell. So you yeah. know maybe that will help him to deal with that. Yeah, because I think they're afraid of opening up a, a can of worms and then not being able to deal with it. But if you have peppermint with you and you smell it and you talk about it, you resolve it, um, you know, it smells so bad. You didn't drown. <laughs> you didn't drown in that sorrow, right? Okay, so there's an affirmation for this um, and it's I am safe and accepting. Okay, for the um, blend, the uh, bergamot, lavender and peppermint blend. Okay. All right, so we're almost finished. Um, now we're moving on to the spirit and I just want to, to share with you just a little bit because we talked a lot about um, what peppermint does already in the mind. But um, in the spirit, uh, we just need to remember that we're here to be happy. We're meant to be happy. Um, and, you know, I think we sometimes accept that life is hard um, and we're so used to, and in fact, sometimes some of us are addicted to feeling sad and sorrowful. In fact, there's some people that want to be martyrs because um, that's their identity. Okay? And they refuse to allow joy and happiness into their life. And that's not the way it should be. Um, that's not their true identity. So when they al allow um, themselves to vibrate at a low vibration, of course they suffer because they attract everything that has low vibrations and it's very unnecessary um, and that's their their um, reality and of course it's their reality because they chose it okay so peppermint helps us clear away all the self-imposed limitations that were unnecessary um, it helps us uh, have a clear renewed hope and strength for life so Peppermint says, lift up your head, lift up your self high, lift up your heart. You know, you are strong enough. It's about being buoyant. You know? So it's, it's a very nice oil to have um, every day in some way, shape or form. Okay, because we have a lot of gravity, lots of negativity, right? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyone want to say anything, make comments?
So that's all I have to say today about peppermint. So we have that um, this little handout. Are there any uses that anybody uses peppermint for that? No, we haven't mentioned, mentioned yet. Here, There's a ton. You want to share? I put it in my deodorant. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Good, nice, fresh, tingly. <laughs> yeah, not not a lot, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> you know, peppermint's also in the uh, Slim and Sassy blend, and I didn't mention that. It was diffusing Slim and Sassy earlier today. Huh. I didn't. I hadn't heard of much. I don't think I've heard of anybody doing that. And I was like, you know what? This sounds like it's a really good blend to just <laughs> smell in the air. So I diffused it. Yeah. Good, good, because it, it's about inner beauty, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all for Peppermint. Um, we can end our recording now. Thank you very much for coming and uh, listening to our call.